All right, LDWMMA State is your boy, the coach, your live, live, live on the coach's show, the coach's show live. Okay, guys, I'm going to tell you guys what Tyler Santos needs to do, okay? I'm going to tell you what she needs to do because if she defeats Aaron Blanchfield, which, you know, a lot of us predict that she will do so, um, this is not guaranteed. This is not guaranteed that she's going to actually get a title shot. Okay, beating Blanchfield doesn't guarantee her title shot. Even if she go and do what I suggested and really just put Aaron Blanchfield in a pool of her own blood, I don't, I don't think that's going to give an immediate uh, rematch. I think that after uh, Alexa Grazo, I think that they're going to try to give Valentina Manon Vera. As a matter of fact, I'm 100% sure that that's who they want to go with next. Tala Santos is just that person. She's a victim of the popularity. In the UFC, they find a little bit more financial value in a Manon Farah. I don't know why. I don't know why they do. Um, to me, I think Taylor Santos is gaining more popularity day by day. I think she's the more popular of the two fighters. But here's the thing, okay? Taylor Santos got to do a couple of things. Number one, she does have to beat Blanchfield, okay? She got to beat Blanchfield because if she don't beat Blanchfield, game over, okay? That's it. There's nothing else that she can do. Okay, and her getting another title shot will be like slim to none. Never. Okay? So beating Blanchfield has to be a must. That's number one. Okay? Number two, Tala Santos needs to make a business decision. When Valentina Shevchenko fights Alexa Grazo, she needs to be there in attendance in the audience. Okay? She don't need to be in Brazil riding a damn horse. Okay? Playing on the beach with her husband or, or, or you know, no. Tyler Santos need to be in attendance. And Tyler Santos need to jump her ass in that octagon when that fight's over. She need to run up there. I don't even care if they stop her. Because, see, if she run up to the octagon, if she run up to the octagon and, you know, the security crew trying to stop her, the cameras are going to, they're going to put the cameras on Tyler Santos. And they're going to say, wait a minute. Hey, Tyler Santos is trying to get into the octagon. Wait, wait, what's going on? Oh, she's being stopped by security. And everybody going to know why Tyler Santos wants to get in that octagon. Everybody going to know. See, Tyler Santos, I'm going to see if they're going to be smart. Okay? You need to go to the fight, Tyler. Okay? Go ahead and spend the money because we know you got the money because you ain't paid your coaches. So we know you got the money. Okay? She need to go to that fight and sit in that audience. She need to go, sit, watch the entire fight. Study Valentina live instead of on video. See, there's a lot of benefits to being at that fight live. And when that fight's concluded, <laughs> when Valentina does her little victory speech or whatever, do that little dance she do, then Tyler Santos need to roll up in that octagon. She need to roll up in that octagon and speak her mind and tell her what's up. It's going to be the end of the night or, you know, the post-fight show. Go back there with DC. Go back there with them guys. Walk back there because they're going to want to interview you. If you're at the fight, they're going to want to interview you. They're going to pull you back. Because you got Daniel Cormier already saying that Valentina need to rematch this girl. Hell, DC said Tyler Santos won the fight. So you know he's going to say, hey, Tyler, I'm going to interview you. Hey, I'm going to... And you know somebody going to be there who speak Portuguese. Okay? You know somebody going to be there who speak the language. Okay? It's a win-win situation. But if Tyler Santos stay in Brazil, running around Brazil... Riding them little Charlie horses, playing on the beach, playing uh, 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 whatever ball she playing at the beach, flapping her ass in the water. She can forget it. Kiss your title shot goodbye. Might be a little bit of hassle, a little bit of inconvenience. You got to travel. Got to, you know, put out for a hotel. Got to do these things, but go ahead and do these things. And then you might can bump in a Valentina fight week. Hell, stay the whole week. Mike can bump into a fight week. See, people like Tyler Santos, they need to do what Juliana Pena did. Hell, there wasn't even no fight going on. Amanda Nunez pulled out. Juliana Pena still showed up at that hole. And, and Juliana Pena still said, where's Nunez? See, Juliana Pena wasn't playing games. When she was going to get her title shot, Juliana Pena did everything necessary. Because she was in the same spot that you're in, Tyler. They, they, were, they, were, they were not considering her for a title shot. Juliana Pena did what she needed to do. She was visible. She was very vocal. 
like putting emojis on Valentina Instagram or, or you know, just on videos, that, that's not going to do it. You got to get out. You got to get out of your comfort zone. It's, I know it's summertime in Brazil. Okay, you got to leave Brazil. Get your ass on the airplane. Come to the U.S. And start telling Valentina, look, this is what it is. You know I beat you. You know I'm the real champion. Did you guys know what would happen if Tyler did that? Or, or, or even, even at a post-fight interview where a crowd can be in there. And Tyler Santos stand up and ask a question. Why don't you want to rematch me? You know I'm the real champion. You know I beat you. And so many people said I beat you. You know that'll be powerful. And what, what would the UFC have to do? In front of the whole world, Tyler Santos would have called Valentina a coward. And Valentina got to respond. She got to respond. She can't ignore that. that, that that's completely unignore, uh, un, unignorable. You cannot ignore that. Valentina will have to respond. See, right now, when Tyler Santos doing it in the comfort of her home, and Valentina there on social media, Valentina just kind of ignored it. She ignored it. Unless somebody asked Valentina, hey, Tyler Santos saying you scared of her, then Valentina would probably respond. But no, you right there in the open, you're right there. Valentina have no choice but to respond. She ain't got no choice. Tyler Santos can, can say, basically, you're afraid of me. And I know you are. So fight me. Why are you fighting Grazo? Okay? Why are you fighting this little girl? Shit. Look at that, boy. Damn dog ran in the street. Why are you fighting this little girl? Okay? Why you want to fight Manon Farah? They scared of you. Fight me. I'm not afraid of you. And I'm going to take that belt from you. you got to get Clubber Lane on, on, on Valentina. You got to go old school Clubber Lane. That's what she's going to have to do. You ain't getting no title shot. You ain't getting no title shot. You, you're not just going to go and beat Blanchfield and think that they're going to say, hey, Tyler, here, here, here's your uh, rematch. Here's your rematch. Don't think so. Don't think so. Not happening. So I, I hope this is the one advice that Tyler Santos take from Coach Stradamus. I hope this is the one advice that this woman takes. Okay? Prepare. You got Martin. I mean, you still got what? You got three weeks left. You got three weeks left till that fight happens. Okay, you got time. Go on and book your flight. Go on and book your flight. Go ahead, book the flight, and now get your hotel ready. Because you can eat right now if you just take this seriously.